first I want to speak about the night we met. So uh, Marit, she's, she's British, but she was living in Poland at the time I met her and I was going to uh, from like a city to city, like in Europe, to uh, dancing events in the West Coast Swing. Whoever knows me, I'm doing dancing in West Coast Swing. I was uh, coming to one uh, night in Krakow. I didn't mean to go there. I did. It was a good choice, apparently. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I was uh, sitting with a guy, drinking like these drinks, uh, Suplica. He wanted to make me drunk because that's what I kind of like, do in uh, Europe. I kind of go drunk in uh, like parties. And uh, he also tried to uh, teach me how to say let's dance, which is uh, uh, And I was kind of after that thinking, all right, when, who am I going gonna, I'm gonna to address? And then I'm kind of addressing someone. It's great. <laughs> This is so lovely, isn't it? So many of us have managed to get here. And who would have thought of it? But we are here. And I'd like to thank all of you to coming to come to celebrate this great day. And some of you have even come from abroad. A special welcome to Alon's family. Do you want me to show her? Who's come all the way from Israel. We're here to celebrate the wedding of Alon and Mered. And I think I'm meant to say something about Mered. She's obviously discerning and clear-sighted. She's also independent and unafraid of a challenge. She went alone to Africa for a number of months where she learned Swahili. So she then spent some years in Poland and learned Polish. It won't have escaped your attention that Alon is Israeli. And it is easy to forget but his first language isn't English. So I believe that Mered has started to learn Hebrew. Alon is impressive in so many ways. I remember the time in March last year when Mered was trying to get to Israel the pandemic was raging, the borders were closing, who knew for how long, special documents were needed. Alon raced from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem to get them. Whilst he was doing this, Mered was on her way to Heathrow, not knowing if he would succeed and whether she would be able to get in. He did succeed. He's a man who can get things done. I, Alon Samuel, take you, Mairead Hannah Coyle, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. That the couples that flourish never forget that they are each other's comfort and support. With both of you on the same team, you can tackle anything the world throws at you. And you've already made a good start on that. And I wish you both every blessing. I, Mairead Hannah Coyle, take you along, Samuel, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. When we and I like uh, hug and kiss, it uh, feels really amazing, and uh, it's really lovely, and we can spend like lots of time with each other. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body I honor you, 
All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. Alon, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. She has the, the kindest heart that I know uh, volunteering with Teze and uh, volunteering also in Israel in pandemic time, even though she's uh, right, like scared of COVID and it's kind of like the people don't know what's happening. And uh, yeah, she just, just like wants, wants to do good, do good in the world. When he came back to Israel, well, he told me about his, uh, his trip and he said, yeah, you know, it's been fun and I've met this girl in, in, uh, in Poland named Mairead and it was really a, a complicated story because, well, she, he met her in Poland, but then again, she's not Polish, she's British and, and she's there <laughs> teaching English, she stayed at a nunnery and she's organizing a uh, worldwide Christian con uh, Conventions? <laughs> yeah, and I love you, and uh, can't wait to start my life with you, and uh, I want to make a toast. And uh, for Mairead, my lovely wife, gorgeous. And uh, thanks to all of you that uh, came coming here tonight to celebrate with us. <laughs>